we'll kind of to get into the juicy part that everybody waits to hear about. Since you guys ended up matching, have you gone on a date? Unfortunately not. What the hell? Okay, why not? Yeah, let's talk about it, why not? Okay, you want to take it off? You can start. Oh, okay, let's yeah, start over here. Start. Well, we made arrangements on Thursday to have brunch on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was set for like one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Okay. And I believe I reached out to her on Saturday to see if she wanted me to send a driver to her. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt like that'd be nice. So we had uh, reservations at Global Ambassador mm, at nice. one o'clock. So she didn't reply until 1255 the next day. See, this woman is a professional time waster. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one. Hit that like on your way in. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know whenever I upload content, you know what we're going to do? Yep. Roll that clip. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You know, and she said she was going to be late and that she had just seen the text and she thought she replied and you lying ass bitch. This, that, and the other. But at that point, it was, I, it was too late. Okay. My eyes. Okay. Alicia. Okay, so yeah, we had chit chatted throughout the week and you'd ask me like, are you busy, blah, blah, blah. And of course, yeah, he sent that text, I'm running out the door and I didn't answer, like, you know, I didn't like leave him hanging, mm -hmm. but I didn't, I sent him the audio message like, hey, I'm gonna be like five minutes late, I'm on my way. And then when I go and check, I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't text him back. Right. So I, I'm not gonna say I'm ditzy, but I'm like, hey, I'm on my way there, blah, blah, blah. So like he said, at 12.55, I'm on my way to the Global Ambassador. His red receipts are on. He reads it, sees that I'm here. You can hear in the audio message, I'm obviously in my car driving, and he just leaves it on red. So then, mind you, I'm driving, going, going. I don't live that far. And then I get there, and I'm like, hey, just parked in ballet, right? So I'm, like, driving. I'm not totally on my phone. Yeah. I just assumed, like, out of good nature, you know, I got up. I went to work last night, got up, got ready, went, that he was just going to meet me there. Like, we had confirmed the date, like, three times already. I don't. Okay. I understand that that was my fault that I didn't respond to that text. But at this point, we had like three confirmations. So I just assumed maybe that's me that we were going to show up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he left the messages on red, didn't respond. I went, hung out at the restaurant for like 15 minutes and said, going to pack her up. See, this is a communication issue. And a lot of modern women, their communication sucks. He ain't lying. Communication sucks. Because you don't value relationships. You don't value relationships because you've never seen successful ones. He ain't lying. And based on your own individual choices, you get the same result because you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Girl, you know it's true. See, this woman showed a complete disregard to this brother. He did right. He set up the date, planned the date, followed up the day before, like you're supposed to. And then she claimed, oh, I didn't see the text until just now. Who hurt you? Almost everyone. Fellas, always remember, women make excuses for men that they truly don't want. He ain't lying. If this woman genuinely liked this guy, she would have got the message. The fact that she knew that he read her message when she sent it lets me know that he was reading that she was able to get the message. She saw the message. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, an Android, an Apple Watch, an Android Watch. You're going to get a text message. Do not ever, under any circumstance as a guy, Except when a woman says, I didn't get your text. I didn't see your call. No, you saw it and ignored it. You saw it and didn't value the person behind it. 
That's the reason why on day number two, you acted as if you were, that you had just gotten this text, when in reality, you already knew what time the date was, when it was, you just chose to blow this guy off. And your communication sucks because you don't value the man that you're going out with. This is why black men are no longer dealing with modern women. This is why we're going overseas. This is why we're dating Asians and Latinas and white women. Because we don't have time for these games, ladies. We don't have time to plan an entire date only for you to give us some whack excuse as to why you couldn't show up. Time to play the game. <laughs> but then these same women that will give a whack excuse for a black man will show up for a white man, a Latin man, an Asian man, an Arab man. Y'all just don't want to appreciate black men. I always said, like, I want a nice guy. Well, I've never said that. I've always been into, like, the dickheads or, like, the douchebags of the male community. I told you. I told you. But because I was so traumatized by them, I'm sitting there being like, I want a nice man. Like, why can't a guy just come to my life and be so nice and, like, be obsessed with me? <sighs> and then I find, like, a guy that's really nice, and I am so thrown off. Like, I really did find a guy who's, like, super nice. Like, the most respectful, like, anything I really need, like, he's gonna do it for you. And I'm sitting there like, hmm. <sighs> Mm. Yeah. Ah. Like, I'm the problem. I'm the problem. I do want a healthy relationship. Okay, I really do. More than anything, that's what I want. But I think I just still need a guy who, like, gives me a run for my money. Stop it. Get some help. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Like, if you say a joke and I, like, say something back and they're like, no, 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 that was just a joke. Yeah, I know. I know it was a joke. You can, you can sit there and dish it out again. Like, it's fine. I'm so the problem because like you're nice like literally like connor from love island vibes but like it's just too nice women don't want nice guys they want a dog they want a guy to treat them like crap yell at them maybe put their hands on them a little bit not a lot and they want a man that will give them that look like Say something again, and you gonna get these hands. That's what women want. The reason why women staying guys up on dates, they don't want the nice guy. They don't want the astrophysicist. They don't want you. They want Poogie. They want Future. They don't want Russell Simmons. They want a Poogie. See, they don't settle for Future. They settle for Russell Simmons. They date Future and they settle for a guy like Russell Simmons. For a decent guy. Beat it, chick. And that's why dating is so hard. You have a bunch of modern women lying to themselves about the types of men that they want when they know you don't like a nice guy. You don't like a kind, sweet guy. You don't like the guy that's going to text you before you go to bed when you wake up in the morning. You treat those guys like crap. You do. You treat them like trash. And then they become, they become a-holes because you treated them like garbage. Beat it, chick. And then by the time you're ready for the nice guy, you got three kids by three different baby dads with a fourth child on the way, and you really expect a man to take care of that? Beat it, chick. Like, I'm serious. You allow losers to take you and do whatever they want through the golden years of your life, 
And then when you get older, then you want all the decent guns, but by then all the decent guns are married. So then you get on the internet and you say, oh, the dating pool is not that good for decent guns. Oh, the dating pool is different. Oh, there is not that many good people out there. And a lot of women just have to accept that they're going to live alone and die alone. And that's the sad reality. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, peace. I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man.